So Kelsey's in AmeriCorps Vista with us. Um, do you only have like a couple months left, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm done in August. Oh my, so. I'm not gonna cry a tear yet, but they're coming. <laughs> I'm really bummed. Um, and you're hanging out with us to do the community spotlight tonight, right? What yeah. you got? Um, so DOM has played host to an um, amazing film festival the past three years called the Intendance Film Festival. Um, so Casey Elliott is here tonight to talk about Intendance and the, this year's film festival, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks. Um, Let's so yeah. her up to the stage. Uh, let's do it. Come on up. Now I'll hand my mic right on over to you, Casey. Here you go. Hi, thanks. Hey, Casey. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> nice and warm outside today. It is. It is a hot one, kind of like up in here. It's so hot. <laughs> it is um, these lights. <laughs> uh, Awesome. So tell us about Intendance. What is Intendance and what is the Intendance Film Festival? Oh boy. So Intendance is um, a local indie film festival. We focus on uh, our Colorado filmmakers as well as talented storytellers from around the world. We really like to bring in all types of film talent, whether you're a film writer, producer, um, if you're an actor that's interested in film um, or you are a director on a film that you're interested in showing, uh, we really love getting your films in. Um, um, like I said, we do focus on the local films, but we get films in from all over the world. We have uh, eight different categories or genres, however you like to say that. So there's tons of opportunity to um, get in your type of film specifically. So we're not, you know, kind of honed in on one special type of film. Um, and uh, we do it every year in the summer. And uh, it used to be the Film Festival of Colorado, but actually we kind of reinvented ourselves. And uh, Intendance is actually a mash of uh, intention, intensity, and independence. So, so cool. Um, and this is your seventh year, right? As yeah, <laughs> seven years. It's actually hard to believe that it's gone seven years already, um, just promoting our local uh, indie creatives. But it's, yeah, wow, seven years. I That's just fantastic. felt older suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just realized my age now. <laughs> oh man, seven years. Yeah, it's it's definitely a crazy ride, but um, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's really it's an amazing thing to be a part of, and we love coming here to Denver Open Media. Um, what better way to uh, have a film festival with than with all the resources that Open Media has to offer? So awesome. Um, so what's in store for this year's film festival? Well, um, we got in a ton of submissions, and um, we were able, through a long process of judging, to narrow it down to 42 films into two days. So we're doing it June uh, 24th and 25th. Um, and uh, yeah, as many as you can come see, it's a very inexpensive thing to come enjoy some indie filmmaking. It's probably the, the most expensive pass we have is kind of like the all festival VIP pass is only $50. So, um, and the best way to get more information on the festival or passes if you're interested in, or tickets, you can even come to just see like a small two hour block, get a taste of uh, what Colorado and, and internationally has to offer for films. Um, can all be purchased either on uh, intendance.org um, because we are a nonprofit or you could also check out our Facebook page. We're constantly uploading like, here's the new schedule ideas. Here's what we have going on. Um, we're even doing a little uh, talk during the middle of the festival. I call it like a discussion panel. It's um, held by Emerging Filmmakers Project, also another great organization and resource for our filmmakers um, locally to show their films and get feedback from other filmmakers. And they'll be here on Saturday actually doing it, about a two hour hour and a half block of uh, discussion on a topic that is TBA at this time. So cool, and such great resources for Colorado filmmakers. Um, and I know the submission deadline has passed, but there's still opportunities as far as volunteering and sponsorships. Yeah, so um, we're always looking for volunteers, even if you're slightly interested in helping us out. Um, you could do anything from being an usher to technical support if you know how to run a projector or you're good with that kind of stuff. Um, definitely come on down, send an email to info at intendance.org. That's the quickest way to get a response. But um, anything that you guys are interested in helping out with, just kind of put it in there in the email and we'll find a spot for you. Awesome. So that's June 24th and June 25th. Um, check it out at intendance.org. And I think we have a little video from last year's festival, right? We do. Back when I had the blue hair. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> All right. So let's check that out. Let's roll that thing. If 
if you had to make a definition for that word, what would you say that it means to you? In tendance. In tendance. Tendance. Yes. In tendance. Yes. I would challenge this word in Scrabble. <laughs> You would challenge yeah, our is festival? Like some massive game of Balderdash going on here. Is a little. I failed fourth grade spelling, so I'm not really sure. So you totally combined combination of words. <laughs> Intendance is all about the intent of doing something. I feel like, you know, Intendance. Like, dude, it's it's so far flung, I can't even. Ten to... Intendance. Prosperous. Uh, to me, it means to intend to do something. It's sexy riding a motorcycle. <laughs> a purpose. A, a movement. movement. Yes, a movement with purpose. Intendance. Yes. Intendance. Yes. yes. Feel the word attendance. It's a combination of intense attendance. I like what you said. Intending to, intending to attend. Where is it? It sounds like a skateboard company. That's all there is to it. A skateboard company. <laughs> well, I would say that it is a I don't know. It's a fantastic group that seems very informational. Thank you. To be yourself. That's right. There you go.